Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 16th LAMP tutorial. Wow, we are cruising right through these. Today we're going to learn what an array is. So what is an array? Well, we've made variables. Let's say you got to make a lot of variables. Like your boss wants you to write a program that uh, evaluates 100 cars. Wow, you're going to make 100 variables? Well, kitty, what are you doing? My cat is acting all crazy. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm recording, honey. Go away. So, an array is one variable that holds multiple variables. For example, my cat. I'm sure you can hear her. It's one cat holding multiple meows. Yes, I'm talking about you. This cat is crazy. Anyways, so you can see how you can make multiple variables. Well, an array, let's jump down here. Here we have a variable called cars. You see this array function and all this stuff behind it. What we're doing is we're making one variable hold an array or multiple variables. You see how you have cars 0 equal Saab, cars 1 equal what is this number? Well the bracket number in bracket that's the index inside of the array. Remember 0 is always the first position so it's going to be a 0 based array so 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. That's how you get those positions. And here's what the actual code would look like if you were going to play around with this. Car 0 equals Saab, cars 1 equal Volvo, car 2 equal BMW, 3 Toyota, and then you're going to echo these out. The above code will print out, you guessed it, Saab, Volvo, and Swedish cars. Wow. Arrays look complex. They are a little bit of a brain bender if you're not used to them. So we're going to actually break arrays into a few tutorials. And we're going to say people equal array. Brian, let's say Eric and Sally. I'm just making names up at the off the top of my head. Now, we have our array. Let's say we want to get the second item, Eric, and print it out on the screen. Remember this is a zero based system. So zero, one, two. So we need the one. So we'll say echo people and there's Eric. I know it looks a little funny having a number one, but it's the second one. Remember, it's a zero-based array. If we put a zero in there, it's going to grab this guy at the zero position. In this case, Brian, me. So that's an array. Very simple, very easy to use, comes in very handy. You won't really grasp the reason why you need an array until we get into for loops. Then you'll really start to understand. Well, I'm going to keep these fairly short fairly simple. Oh, yeah, I should probably cover how to actually assign a value to an array. Uh, let's say people Alright, so we're going to just concatenate that out. This is incredibly hard to type, talk, and pet the cat all at the same time. I'm trying to keep the cat quiet so she can let me do this tutorial. So what we're going to do here is we've got an array of people, in this case Brian, Eric, Sally, and we're going to echo out the number one index, in this case Eric, and then we're going to change that value to Bob. So what we're doing is replacing Eric with Bob and then echoing it out. That way you can see that this index of the array is actually changing. See? Eric Bob. Whoops, I must have hit the wrong key thing. So there's Eric, and then we're changing that to Bob, and then we're just printing it out. Notice how the index never changes, but the value does. So you can make different indexes in the array be different values. And there are a ton of array functions, which we're not going to get into in this tutorial, but just know that they're out there. You can do things like sorting, filtering, splitting, I mean, a whole ton of things. But right now, just understand what an array is and how to manipulate the values inside of that array. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this educational and entertaining. 
and my cat apparently wants to say hi.